Hello everyone, it's Warrior Who here. Welcome to episode 9 of Let's Play Rabbits Go Home. Rabbits Go Home! In the last episode, we. We. Way the boss office and stole his table. And before that. I honestly completely forgot. <laughs> Sorry! But now we're doing totally tubing, dude, which is our first tube level. And these levels are honestly quite short, but they do involve a brand new. Oh, yeah, last time we waited a nuclear power plant, I forgot. But yeah, here we have a new gameplay mechanic for Wired Tube. And. We can, shoot, we, we can bounce over. Oh, yeah, what the. What I say, if you shake the arena while you hit the wall, you can do a super reveal which launches you super high. And honestly, I really do love these levels. These are. You gotta be very well eye coordinated to get all the stuff here. And you gotta do some super rebound at the right times, otherwise. Well, that'll happen. Or you can, you can just fall off the cliff and die. But, Hankly, in these levels, if you, if you ever die, you won't lose all your stuff. At all. So, why can't I be on lower on this? I don't bloody know, but. Man, at least I'm glad about this. Oh come on, I totally should have made that curve. There we go. So yeah. One hit and you're dead. But hopefully if you ever die, you will still keep all the clippers you've gotten. Which again, I was why isn't I don't have other level? But whatever. So here we go, we're way a cord away from the level. And yes, the tube of white itself is the extra large item, so we basically got we need to just get all the extra small stuff here. That shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> just need to stop doing super rebounds. You guys die for the clip and die. Uh but well, but yeah, there you go. You get to keep all the stuff you collected. You know you died. Why can't all Oh, let's be honest. I don't blame now. Blame the, st the stupid programmers who program this game. Ubisoft is not perfect with this game. So that's no damn sure. I mean, look at this. I mean, they need some glitchy paints in the, pa in the past. So yeah, there's a ton of collectibles here. You don't want to miss this area. Just that part of the course. Oh, there we go. Okay, must be halfway through there now. Avoid the cacti, cause one hit and you're and you're dead. So yep, going one way. Still going one way. Still going one way. And I was shot it, and there we go. <sighs> I'm also getting a lot of quick crazy music here. I love it. As my foot sounds all weird and that, but whatever. Okay. Now we got more of this super rebound stuff. And I'll. And I hit cat die. Great. Means I gotta do this pile over again, but I'm gonna do it to get those collectibles again, that's for sure. Okay, that's just me being an idiot. I tried to just skip the cacti, but clearly I still heard it, so I'm a bloody idiot. Oh well. This side, don't hit the cacti. There we go. I'm gonna have to off the single collectible, which I wish that could be the case for every level, but hey, what can you do? I don't know does cacti also hurt you? I bet it do. So don't wanna know, but yeah. We're nearly down on this level. Like I said, these two levels are very short, so these are definitely not gonna last very long. I should not have done a super rebound there. Oh yeah, I did there. Okay, we gotta be getting level by now. 
Okay, and... There you go, this true level done already. You know, it that reminds me of the skiing minigames very very like, in a t in TV party. Which that was intentional, then I applauded for it. I love my music references. But I don't need on the safe answer with switch. Yeah. There you go, once again a thousand a thousand. Let's jump into the toilet again. The weather must smell absolutely horrendous. I mean, we had to, that. Okay, no. In the sewers all the time, and. Also, there's a glitch there. The weather, for a few frames, for some reason just disappeared. I can't, that glitch seems to be happening quite a bit, so I don't really understand that. Oh well, let's see what we unlocked for being a tube level. Cause yeah, we won't play cutscene again. The glitch does not occur, so I don't know. This loading screen cutscene is really weird, but whatever. Still loading, and here we go. And yeah, so no kids pause it every time I start up this game. It's very annoying. I lost Skyler's Swords explanations. But let's see what tattoos we unlocked. Which, they're not here. Oh, they're randomly on the third page for some reason. Okay. So we got some, basically some texture tattoos. Okay, nothing special. What new hat have we unlocked? Oh, skipped it. It's a pan of spaghetti! Spaghetti never forgetty. I don't know. I'm never playing Undertale, so I don't know what Netflix I'm in supposed to be, but whatever. Undertale aside, not doing this play again until I actually played by myself, but going off track. Let's do the next cow level here. A Popolix Cow. Best title for a level ever. Ugh. Now, despite what you think, some cows here are actually not gonna involve chasing the cow as seen in this level, I believe. I could be wrong, but no. So yeah, it's only like if not all cow levels are gonna involve chasing. I mean, most of them do, but not all the cow levels all involve chasing, like this one. So don't worry, there'll be no chasing this time. Just a simple, ordinary, my risk go home level. That's the way I like it. And our new stuff is going to be introduced in this level, that's for sure. So, things up. And oh, look! There's a new variant of the Terminator. The blue one. Now, unfortunately, I stripped it down before we could do what I could do. Basically, the blue phone is I was able to shoot laser beams in a, in a spinning fashion. And of course, you hit them you'll lose the light bulb. So make sure you take care of them for the fire laser beams or the very least fire hit them away from their aim of fire. But yeah. Blue Ferminators. Still easy but they're getting tighter. I think there's only one more Ferminator variant that we still need to see. And I got squashed there. Surprised I didn't got a game over. So now we need to strip three humans here. There we go. I don't know what's up with that clarinet. But whatever. It's probably Squeak with playing it. Anyways. I think we've got everything here. Pretty sure. Let's do on. We're our way all the way through the level. Loads of conveyor belts and hey, our, our first collector weapon. And hey, here we have a new mechanic in the in the game, bands. 
Yay! XTV gets hang on his fans. There we go. Fly from one to another. Now you can you can for your devotion. You can for yourself in any devotion you want to. There's those stupid angles they have to do for. But you have to be pinpoint accurate with those. Those fans, fans there. So they got really weird hit detection. And you miss, and you miss one fan. You die, gain away, gotta do this section all over again. So fans can be a bit of a nuisance. But I don't think they're that annoying. Just a little bit annoying. Also, that, that play about that news. Yeah, here we go, more blue fan grenades. And once again, I get rid of where they can show off their lasers. Oh, don't worry, we will eventually see the attack, and it's just not yet. So yeah. Okay. And then we have more fans. So. Yeah. So make sure what's getting you. Make sure you aim perfectly at those fans because they have really weird hit detection and you do not want to be falling into a bottomless pit and die. Because, oh yeah, bottomless pits below the fans, which I hate. But whatever. Let's put the scientists down and go over here. So, mm, neat. I think I was gonna check to see if we got anything. I think I did. Let's move on. Got one puzzle here. I'm playing with, with the delivery rabbits. The delivery gem, I don't know. There you go. We're halfway through the level now. And there's more blue phone layers. There you go, there's our lasers. Make sure, make sure you avoid for sure. And there you go. Now we're finally seeing how that they attack. We can now move on with the level. That is more than there we go. Hello, we got some ramps here. Hmm. You know what? Bay about and we got a boy so on these things as well. Hey back here. Just a pipe here that'll take you back to the start. So that's okay, if only you die if you fail, so that's nice. But we gotta avoid his cargo here. Nothing too harmful, so there's that. Not going to avoid your red cylinders yet. Well, now we got more stuff we gotta take care of here. Ow. Um, there we go. There we go. We're, we're back to the fair Now we just gotta move over here and continue on with the level. Wow. Oh, come on, I should hear you as well. And I completely missed somehow. I suck. There we go. So, okay. Hey, look, Santa again! Give me a Nintendo Switch! Give me a tail switch with Breath of the Wild, 1 2 Switch, Super Mario Aussies, Platoon 2. Hmm. I'm really excited for Super Mario Aussie. It, it, it doesn't look like any Mario game I've played before in my life. Super Mario Aussie is definitely going to be one of the most unique Mario games there is. When about Mario? Now we got more fans. Once again, they show. Your aim is perfect because if you miss just a smidge, well, you're gonna. Well, you're gonna die. Fall in the bottom pit, die, and do this all over again. I'm probably losing collectibles as a result.
Oh, yeah. Go in here now. Put stuff in here. Including a switch. Which will open the door, which will lead to the end of the level. This is fantastic. But well, we still got tons of levels left to get, so I'll do, do, make sure to do that. First of all, we'll take this power game right here, because we can do that. Yeah. Yeah, and this and this way you want to stop and go all the way back because you go over that that barrier there, you have to do all the fan stuff all over again. What's the matter? Because we still got to do fan stuff over here as well. Oh, I just barely got that. See what I mean by weird hit detection? Huh. Besides, you gotta do this in order to get to the end level anyway. And then look, there's the cow! You ask me what it's doing here, but... Let's shove the cow into the toilet. Take a... Take a crap, you to... Or just get stuck in the toy anyway. Another thousand? And that's the last level we're gonna do in this episode. So yeah. A Pobolex Cow, still the best name for a level ever. <sighs> so, yeah. Let's return back to Central City with, our, with another cow in our possession. God knows what I'm going to do with the cow, aside from throwing him into the pile. Huh? Well, there you go. We're now halfway to our to our current objective. We're over half of a, half of, at least over half of 2,300 feet, which is which is the most the most amount you need in order to beat the game. But you know what? Do that. Do that one. I mean, we're still not halfway done with the game. Well, there we are. I don't know. So, let's see what tattoos we got. And now we finally filled up the second page. And we just get a bunch more textures here, including camouflage. Unfortunately, we don't, didn't get any new hats this time, which I'm very disappointed about. Oh well. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, I did put a sp spaghetti hair on Amethyst as well, because it's messy. And Amethyst's hair is quite messy as well. <laughs> Amethyst's hair. But, uh. So, next time, let's play Weather's Go Home, which I'll be doing various fun. Yep, we're going to do a second engine level. And then we shall be going back to the Weather's Junkyard to see how the pile's doing. So, it's Wagon Who, and I'll see you next time.